So we're here at the BET Education Conference. And yeah, you? hey, welcome to the BET Show 2018. My name's Ron, I'm part of the training team for ESA. This is the C732, uh, entry level, ruggedized Chromebook. Uh, very much a pupil sort of focused product. It's a uh, military specification, uh, chassis, very robust, very solid. It even has drainage, so if you spill something onto the keyboard, it will run straight through. How does that work, the drainage technology? So you, you wouldn't believe it, but the drainage technology, we've got square pipes that go through here rather than uh, cylindrical, and the liquid moves through quicker. And the PCBs is like sealed off. Yeah, yeah, this is just, if anything lands on the keyboard, it's going to go straight through what the device and not get inside. USB plugs. That would well, be that, that's you know that's specialist spilling you're doing if yeah. you're pouring it into the uh, USBs. If you pour it on the top, normal accident, it'll go straight through. Like a so. whole glass of something is okay. Yeah, it's 330 milliliters, so you know the size of a can of uh, pop. So perhaps Coke or you know other pops are available. Can we so. see this, the ports? Yeah, so they're on the bottom here. So you can see to the edges here. Ah, so that, the, that's the, the liquid. Yeah. The liquid goes out here. So yep. here's a micro SD card slot. That's right, this device actually uh, can go 4G as well, so you can put into this a uh, SIM card. Really? Yeah, but yeah. Is that optional? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, this product isn't actually available in the UK, it's just uh, Europe, Middle East, Africa, as we were but saying earlier. Will 4G, or there will be two versions, one with 4G and one without? Uh, no, I think there's just this, uh, this version. It's not available, as I say, in UK. It's a slightly different model in UK. The other thing is this doesn't have VGA, it has uh, Type-C, so... Um, Google and ourselves are promoting the, the idea of USB Type-C for faster charge and for faster data transfer. Yeah, and then we over here, on that side? Yeah, we got, USB. Uh, we got standard USB here as well and another, obviously, Type-C. So there's two Type-C and two USB? Yeah. Is there a price for that one? Uh, this like one is probably going to be about £200, something like that. Yeah, So, but um, right now it's not designed for the UK market, why not? Uh, we already have a model um, that is very similar. I think it's actually something to do with telephony. It's something to do with the 4G aspect that it's not available UK-wise. All right, that's pretty cool. That, uh, and then uh, it has a uh, like designed to be like military. Yeah, so you, you so can you can you can, you can drop, drop it from 60 centimeters. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. You can also put sort of 65 kilograms of weight onto the chassis. Inside, there's actually a kind of a honeycomb, so it absorbs shock. This, this one, uh, how popular is this uh, on the market? So this is the, this is the R13. So this, I, I suppose in terms of when we're talking about this being a pupil sort of centered or focused product, this one I guess would be maybe for an older pupil who is perhaps less accident prone. So it's Touch. more about design, yeah. And it's a MediaTek uh, chipset. MediaTek chipset, yeah. So uh, it's been very popular over the last year. You've been yeah, selling? it has. This one's called R13. The R denotes the fact that it rotates, so it'll turn to tablet format. Because of the security, I can't, I can't make it flat for you, but yeah, R means rotating screen, so it's a convertible. And these are um, uh, extremely smooth, kind of like, uh, they feel yeah, kind so of this, like MacBooks. Yeah, they, they have a definite kind of uh, look to them. They're very much um, about, you know, they're design-led, I suppose, rather than and Also from rugged. last year. Yeah, so this is a, this is a retail product. How, how popular is this? It was very popular, very popular in retail. And again, from the bet perspective, the idea of us being at an education show, I guess this would maybe be more for a school teacher rather than you know the, cl the entire class. So the 11.6 inches for what ages? So the 11, that I one. guess, yeah, this is an 11, and that's an 11. It's not so much for adult. Uh, it's it's not that it's not it's for not adults. It's not university so much, right? No, it's much more for sort of you know uh, younger, school? yeah, primary kids. So they should start this from first grade, or? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's, that, that's, that's very much the idea. You know, the idea that we've made it rugged is we expect, you know, younger kids to be perhaps more accident prone, I guess. Um, maybe take a little less care. So things like the ruggedization, things like the idea it's difficult to get the keys out, you know, so you, you kids tend to... Uh, so the kids, do they actually carry this home and, and back to school every single day or they leave it in, well, in the school? Well, there's, there's lots of different options. Certain schools just have the, the, the units in class and the kids will come in, use their Gmail, read, you know, log in and use it. Other schools, the kids actually own the product and they'll take it home and they'll do work at home. Maybe it's the only thing they carry. They don't carry a whole backpack, they'll just carry the laptop. Well, yeah, I mean, they can. All of that documentation, obviously, is going to be cloud-based, so they can carry this and they've got access and to everything. You have an 11.6 so, so this one, yeah, I'll, I'll move around a little, just be this, easier uh, to show you. 11. So this, I guess, is a step up from the uh, entry-level one. Also from last year? Uh, 
yes, yeah, yeah. So this one actually is is current. So we're calling these now. These are spin. So the idea is it will convert to tablet. It also has a, a rear facing camera. So when you're using it in tablet mode, you do have the the facility of camera. Um, but again, yeah, you can use it in normal laptop mode. It's ruggedized. It has the drainage, the same as the other 11 inch. So if there is a spill the liquid's going to go straight through. One thing that's great about all these Chromebooks is they all have really great keyboards and mouse, right? That's yeah, yeah. like a requirement. You well, can't ship a cheap one, you have to have a good one. With Acer, we've always had what we call precision trackpad or touchpad, so you get the experience of a touchscreen on the trackpad, so you can use all of the, uh, the gestures, so you can zoom and you can um, you know, scan and move as if you're using a touchscreen, but it's actually the trackpad, so. But here they're all Intel, except from that, that R13 yeah, from last year, MediaTek. MediaTek chipset. 8173. Uh, and and so the other thing we didn't touch on is this one actually has an i. This is a 14 inch, and this is called the 14 uh, Chromebook for work. Um, and this has an i5 processor in it. So is this this one? Yes. Yeah. So this is a, with an i5. Yeah. So it's and kind it's, of future proofing, you know. Um, when is this released? Uh, this is current. Like recently, yeah, yeah, this but in is the last year, right? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. 2017, and it has like a glass. Uh, yeah, it has a. Uh, it's again, it's you know, it's a bit more design led, I suppose, than these robust smaller ones. And uh, so this more like enterprise. So, kind so of yeah, enterprise, like NGOs, military, uh, education, um, health sector. So yeah, features Type C. What, what kind of pricing we're talking around here? Is so is I think great we're. Price? Slightly over 300 pounds, I would, as an estimate. I mean, it, prices have, yeah. you know, it's well, quite the elastic. Market, uh, are you the leader in the education Chromebooks? Yeah. In the UK? Yeah, uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, EMEA. You are the leader in uh, edu uh, education Chromebooks? Yeah, yeah. The consumer Chromebooks too? And, uh, yeah, I mean, in, in uh, you know, so the high street retailers, um, Dixon's, PC World. The majority of Chromebooks in those stores are actually ESA, so we've got quite an array of uh, Chromebooks. And uh, how's the feedback of the user? Are they basically, in general, impressed and happy about the Chromebook yeah, factor, right? Yeah, the, the thing with, with Chromebook is, Google, uh, we talk about the three S's, so we talk about speed. These things switch on in seven seconds. They Because you're not running a great heavy op operating system, everything happens really fast, so the first S is speed, the second S is uh, simplicity. Basically, you're using a series of apps rather than an operating system, so it's very intuitive. And the last S is security. You don't need to buy uh, antivirus and things of that nature because the system, essentially, without going into too much detail, it looks after itself. Um, yep. It updates, you know, if there's any kind of And, and actually, thing. the speed gets better every year with the new updates. Yeah, yeah. The, the, when they come in, actually, it's never going to slow down, right? Yeah. Uh, some, some, sometimes some other systems yeah. Seem to get slower after a year or two yeah, or something. Yeah. Unless it's almost it's almost like this system gets more live as it goes. And you can just log out and give it to somebody else. It's like a new laptop. Oh god, yeah, absolutely. So you you log in with your Gmail and your password, you use it, you access your data, whatever you need. When you're finished, you log back out, you pass it to somebody else and it becomes their machine. So yeah. Do you, do you provide extremely good warranty? Um, um, so there's a, uh, again, warranty is a kind of an elastic thing. You've got a year's warranty buying the device. Um, but you can, you know, depending on where you're buying it from, how you're buying it, you can buy in a three-year, a four-year, a five-year warranty to look after the product. The schools could have, like, drop-proof warranties and everything. And if something happens, they just swap to a new one. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Cool.